Hey guys, welcome to another Python Tips and Tricks video. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to use file locking. Uh, the idea here is that if we have two or more processes that want to access or modify the same file, then if we do that at the same time without handling it with care, we might end up losing data. This is something we experience uh, sometimes when we do it without, like I said, pay, paying extra care. Now, what we can do is we can use a file locking mechanism where one process locks the file, edits it, and then saves and then uh, releases the file so another process can do the same thing and so on and so forth. Doing it that way we can have hundreds or even thousands of processes writing to the same file without losing uh, data. So we're going to do this in such a way that um, when the first process locks the file the second process keeps retrying so what it does is it opens the file if it finds out it's locked then uh, maybe sleep or wait for maybe a fraction of a second and then try again and keep looping, keep trying until we manage to access the file and edit it. I use this in one of my uh, research projects and it works quite nicely. If you uh, want to find out you know, more, more information, you can visit these two links. If you're using Python 2, you can uh, just put 2 here instead of 3. I use Python 3.6 and uh, we'd like to use this um, uh, package called uh, file control and package time so we can sleep. And notice here I have an infinite loop, so I loop forever until I manage to edit the file. You can have maybe a certain number of uh, attempts, maybe do the loop like try 50, 100 times, it's up to you. So loop forever and then try and then I use with open to open this uh, simple text file just as, as an example, open it for uh, appending as my file, we need a file object. And then I use this flock from the uh, file control package, flock. I pass it the file object and I pass it these two flags, basically, to lock the file. After I lock the file, this is where I do the business. So this is where the actual logic happens. Uh, process the file, edit, read, do whatever you want. When you finish, then unlock it. So here we release the file, and then we break outside of the while loop. If another process now tries to open the file, it will find out that it is locked. So the exception will be thrown. Uh, I owe error as E, or I can even say, uh, maybe just just error there's no uh, need to use the alias um, except error and then sleep maybe 0.05 of a second and then try again and try again like I said this is we are trying forever uh, you can have a, a limited number of uh, attempts um, what else can we say here yep this is something like I said I use uh, if you have better ideas of course and any comments or questions leave them below the video otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video